Habiba Sarabi is a member of the Afghan peace negotiations team and she's joining us now live from Doha. Uh, Habiba, thank you very much for being with us here on TRT World. So, first of all, what chance is there of agreeing to stop the fighting through these talks? Thank you very much. The only ch chance is that to, to come for the table to negotiate. This is the only uh, solution. This is the only way that we have to do it. Yesterday for this envoy uh, meeting, and uh, everybody was talking about that, that uh, there is not one the, the, uh, the uh, one of the solution, but it is only the only solution that uh, come together and talk and uh, 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 make a decision on the political settlement. This is the only way that we have to do it. But can you trust the people that you're talking to? Agreements have been made with the Taliban before and they have been broken before. So I do wonder if it feels a bit like a waste of time talking to the leadership when perhaps the leadership will make a decision, but the fighters on the ground won't listen. Of course, this uh, decision should be made on and uh, honestly. If we don't be, if uh, we are not going for the negotiation table sincerely and uh, don't show any honesty, of course, it will be very fragile and it will be broken. But we have to come and to talk honestly and sincerely to think about the, the life of the people and also about all the bloodshed, all the crime and all the human abuse that uh, going on inside Afghanistan. We have to think about our people, the life of our people, not only about ourselves and, and, and our, our mood and our position. We have to think about the people. People are uh, the ones that uh, we, uh, we have to serve for them and make a, a decision about them. Absolutely right, uh, Ms. Sarabi, but you're speaking to a, a group of leaders whose fighters are committing atrocities against children, against women. How can you get those leaders to tell the people on the ground to stop that at this point during the fighting? Unfortunately, dear leaders, uh, I mean the, the Taliban leaders, they are not coming, uh, they, they are not talking honestly and sincerely. They, uh, they are encouraging their people on the ground to do that, that crime. So from the other side, they, are, they want to prolong the uh, peace talk uh, process here in Doha. So at, at uh, sense or tell that they can get uh, um, progress on the ground. This is, uh, this is something that they want to do it. But of course, uh, from the other side, this is the international community shouldn't be uh, silent and they have to take responsibility for, the, uh, um, for all this uh, uh, crisis and uh, uh, atrocity that they are, they are doing inside Afghanistan. I'm glad you mentioned the international community because I, I do wonder, this is obviously fighting season. The Afghan winter will be coming in a few months time. There is a, a, a time is ticking on this fighting. If Kabul ends up under siege, will the Afghan government be asking the international community for help? Uh, the uh, Afghan government should ask, and they were uh, they already asked from international community, and uh, they have to make uh, some uh, some uh, very tight or strong decision. Today, uh, we hope, and the people of Afghanistan do have the the hope that the leaders are, uh, including president, they uh, they are in in Mazar -e Sharif in the north to make a decision that at least uh, this this uh, the conflict and and violence should be decreased. And they, they should stop uh, the fighting and defeat Taliban from the north part of Afghanistan. OK, uh, Habiba Sarabi, I do appreciate your time. Thank you very much for being with us here on TRT World and best of luck in these talks.